It's crazy that fall ball was five months ago. Uh, we got in six fall games. We were allowed eight. Weather kind of played a factor, but it was nice to get um, you know some freshmen some time, some returners some at bats, see kind of what our new identity is going to be this year for our team. But I thought we had a good fall. Worked really hard in the weight room with running with Coach Josh. Um, he's done a tremendous job with our program. And we're continuing that now with preseason. We still lift and run three times a week. Um, and that continues to be a big part of our program and our grit and our competitiveness. Our leadership council this year is two grad students, Julia Martin, Sarah Taffet, and then seniors Devin Miller and Michaela Carter. You know, they're all new to kind of that leadership role uh, or title, if you will, but they have all four of them have kind of led in different ways throughout their career here at Fordham. All of them have really good playing experience, championship experience, and they all are four different personalities, so it's been a good mix and uh, excited to see their growth continue throughout the season. I think we look like we have a lot of talent. We have a lot of newcomers, but we also have a good bunch of upperclassmen, and so far it looks like we're coming together well, and all of our talent's going to, I think, show up from the first weekend all the way through to the end. The team looks great. Um, very excited for the season. Obviously, we have some awesome newcomers that came, um, some veterans back, so it's going to be a good year, and we're all really excited to start. Our team's been working really hard, and I think that this fall we did a lot of learning and growing, and we had a lot of newcomers, and so I think overall our team is really young, but I expect really, really good things. We added five new freshmen this fall, uh, starting with pitcher Holly Beeman, freshman from Portland, Oregon. Uh, she is a good-sized kid, good frame, good repertoire of her pitches, and I think she just makes our pitching staff even deeper. We feel we have a strong staff still. Catcher Nikki Sudol, she might not be very tall, but she adds uh, a lot behind the plate for depth-wise. Good frame, good receiver, um, big heart, good teammate. In the outfield, Nalia Noge, um, I think she's a triple threat. Uh, hopefully she'll be able to kind of bring what BB brought to the table. And um, two freshman infielders, Eva Karatsis, uh, first baseman. Uh, it'll be unique having a lefty over there at first base. Uh, good back control, good competitiveness about her. And then uh, last, uh, Kate McGuire, infielder. Grandfather played baseball here at Fordham. So pretty cool Fordham legacy. Um, she can play multiple positions, so she adds a lot of depth in the infield. Our coaching staff consists of our associate head coach, Jen Lepicki. She's here for her second year. Coach Lepicki, or Coach Jay, as the players refer to her as, um, does a tremendous job with the players. Very good one-on-one -on -one development. Um, we're looking forward to seeing kind of the year two of our, of our hitters with Coach Jay. And then our new hire this uh, fall was uh, Coach Nikki Cuccio. Um, just has been nice to get some uh, fresh energy into the program, as well as just some um, good new kind of mind and perspective as she's an outsider coming into our program and she's added a lot too. It's been nice to kind of have a little younger coach on staff that's able to relate a little bit more to the players. Yeah, as far as expectations go, you know, um, we have our kind of program standard is to, you know, be competing in the postseason, but that also just starts with having a good preseason practice, which we're in week three and just finishing up. Uh, definitely looking forward to playing somebody else besides ourselves next week in Florida. And uh, just trying to see what this team's journey is going to be this year. You know, it's a new group, new identity. Um, but looking forward to seeing what this group is going to do together um, starting next week. Yeah, our team goal, obviously, is to bring another ring home and um, just to build together and continue to work hard together and learn from each other. And yeah. Biggest expectation is winning another ring. Um, the grind don't stop for us, and we just got to keep working. Um, any day of the week, we're going to outwork our competitors, and no matter how well we're doing, we got to keep pushing. We got to keep climbing the mountains and overcoming everything else that's going on with life. So as long as we work hard, we work together as a team, which I know 100% we will do. Um, ring is ours again, but got to got to work hard towards that for sure. Expectations, first and foremost, a ring, obviously. Um, get back to regionals again, be able to compete with the best, and um, as I said, competing every day, grinding every day, and um, most importantly, having fun, too. My expectation for the whole team is to win the A-10 championship, but that starts next weekend in Florida, and from taking it one game at a time throughout the season, and I think if we stay focused at the game in front of us, the rings will be ours. We're super excited to start the season next weekend, starting with the NFCA leadoff classic. Uh, it was an invite only kind of tournament, had some HBCUs, mid-major programs, as well as power fives. So we'll get tested right away next Friday against Auburn and Missouri, both top 25 teams, traditional um, postseason teams. We're looking forward to competing and playing the best. We'll also finish up that weekend with Prairie View A&M, Illinois and Pittsburgh. 
Weekend two, we'll be down in Elon. Uh, we'll face JMU, who obviously was in the World Series a little bit ago. We'll face St. Francis, always very tough out of the NEC. Um, you know, back-to-back -back NCAA regional appearance, as well as Elon and Michigan State, another Power Five school. Weekend three, we go out to Winthrop. Uh, we play a couple northern schools, Harvard, uh, Long Island University, North Carolina Central, and Winthrop. And then we'll take a week off uh, to concentrate on our academics as well as get our bodies ready. And then super excited, the first time in my coaching career being able to take a team home to Hawaii with, um, myth, with me. And so we'll be there March 7th through the 12th, playing Iowa State, University of Hawaii twice, and Niagara twice. But uh, very excited to show um, the team and our staff where I'm from, share a little bit of the local Hawaii culture and uh, just to enjoy a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to travel.